Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Things look different. Um, I had to relocate for today's video. Um, Tracy's home, she's working, she's out in the living room. Things have changed around here a little bit, so the house is kind of in disarray. Um, but, you know, life happens, right? Our holidays went well. Um, we got to spend it with the kids and with Wesley. And um, we have um, just had a lot of stuff going on. So, but hopefully you guys had a good holiday. Um, I know it's been a while since I've been on. So let's just get into it. I've got a bunch of stuff right here. I've got a bag and then a couple other bags right here. Um, again, weird angle, lighting, all that. Apologies. And my camera's over here. <laughs> so I'm going to try to look there. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's get into it. Sorry for all the bags. <laughs> I should really do that before I start, right? Okay, uh, let's just start off with this. I was super excited to find this. It's the Simple simple Style Decorative Mesh in the green and yellow. Now these are the shorter rolls. Um, it's 10 by 10 yard, 10 inches by 10 yards. But this is in the green ombre, so green and yellow, which Packer colors, Oregon duck colors, we were excited to find this because now I, well, I've been saying I need to try and do a decorative wreath or a mesh wreath, but this would be good for our football teams. So I got three of those because I'm assuming that'll be enough for a wreath. Um, yeah, it's by Flora Craft. So, all right. Um, a couple of wine bags. I had got these thinking I could use them for last minute Christmas gifts and then never did. Um, ended up doing something different, so I'll just put these away with all of the rest of the Christmas wrap and packaging and stuff like that. Um, and this is all over the place. You guys already know that everything's in no particular order with us. Um, this is the Astrology 2021 book for Libra, which is Tracy. Um, we looked and they didn't have Aries, so which is me, um, but that's fine. We got the one for Tracy. They had, they had maybe half of them, I think. So, and it just goes, it's words and pictures. Let's see if there's like a table of contents or what it does. Um, your forecast, and then it goes through all the different areas of life. So and there's a section on each month, it looks like. There's a page for each month, and then all the different areas of life. So be interesting. Um, these I think we grabbed for New Year's and never used them. It's the 10 count tumbler cups um it's just the little ones but i can use them for crafting or just throw them in the kitchen also for crafting i grabbed another one of these um pump bottles it's the empty pump dispensers for um alcohol like the ethyl alcohol to use for crafting like cleaning up your surfaces before you put vinyl on um, I just wanted to get an extra one of these. So that's what that is for. These are new. Sorry, readjust here. So I hadn't seen these before, and so I scooped up a couple because um, I thought for the backing itself, it's galvanized sign, got the jute hanger, and then it's got this wood paw that says love. But I saw someone it and they pointed out and I didn't realize it that this wood thing on the front is screwed in so 
I mean, you can unscrew it. You're just going to have those couple holes in there to cover up if you're going to use this for... Oh my goodness! What is that all about? I guess it's it's almost 6 o'clock. I just got done working. That's no excuse. I'm never tired at 6. Oh well. <laughs> um, so yeah. These were really good finds in my opinion. You can use the the wood piece with um, crafting, scrapbooking, and then you could use that galvanized piece also. I'm trying to remember if they had other stains or other wood pieces on there. I don't remember. Um, we've been seeing the different holidays, the, th the, the Valentine's and the Easter. Um, these were in the Valentine's. It's the big home sign. And it's got the galvanized heart on there. It's flush, but it is attached. So you could see, you can hear, I can get my nail under there. So you could take that off if you wanted to. And the grooves are actually in there. You can see that right there. So they're real grooves. It's not just the faux grooves that are sometimes painted on um, or part of the paper. So those will be really good for craft bases. Um, they ha And I like that it's, this is pretty, gent like you don't have to just have this for, for Valentine's Day. You could have this up in your house year round. They had a couple different variations of it, but I liked this one because it was the most neutral. I got two of those. So that is all I have. Oh, and then they have the big wooden decor pieces. We just got the one that says love in the script font. I really liked that. So I can just throw it up just as is when I decorate for Valentine's Day. But oh my gosh, you guys, I am so sorry. Why am I keep yawning? Oh, geez Louise. Um, I apologize very much. So can decorate just like this, or you can craft it up. So the stickers should come off pretty darn easy. Yeah, very little residue. And I'm sure if I just stick or scratch really quick, that'll all come off. Yeah, so could do something on this side and then I could do like St. Patrick's Day or Easter on one side, Valentine's on the other. All right. What else do I got? Cute gift bag. Happy birthday with the dinosaurs. It The lighting that I've got working with right now is terrible. It looks kind of pink. This is red. It's like a red red. So um, I am sorry for the color and the lighting. Um, but this is a red red. And that's... Does it have dimensions? No. The sides of this bag are polka dots and stars. So, and then you can see how wide the base is. All right. What else do we want? In the Valentine section, they had this wood palette looking heart. And I thought this was cute. I liked the, the slat look. I think they had a, a vertical slat too. I believe, but I liked this one. So, and this is what they did with the back. It's just three little things holding it all together, but I thought that was cute. Also had this heart sign, which was really cute. The wood, faux wood look in the red and white stripes. And then that love is actually metal and it's attached. Hear that? So, that was pretty cute. This one's actually kind of, it feels sturdier than some of the other signs that they have. So I like that. I don't know what my deal is, you guys. 
I have no idea. This is bizarro. Um, and I don't have Tracy here to give me crap about it either. How about I try one of these? Maybe that'll per like wake me up. These are sugar-free Tic Tac X Freeze Strong Mint with cooling crystals. So there it says new. Um, and it's 1.7 ounces. It says there's 65 servings. One is a serving, so there's 65 Tic Tacs in here, I guess. Let's see if I can get into it and uh, have one. Maybe a little burst of mint will wake myself up. So that's the mint. That's how big it is. I don't know. It's a minty Tic Tac. I don't know if they're... I don't know, guys. Um, I'm not... I've, when I was a kid, I'd always get like the orange Tic Tacs, not the mint ones. It tastes like a mint Tic Tac, so I have no other review on it but that. Look at these dinosaur stickers. They're holographic. Aren't those cool? Super cute. Had to get them to put in Wesley's scrapbook bin for when me and Shaylin start his scrapbook can't pass it up. Here's another cute gift bag that we couldn't pass up. A little dinosaur with his birthday cake and it's glittery on the one side, not on the other. And the side on this one is stripes. You got your blues and green and orange. Um, apparently we were just all about the gift bags this day. Here's another dinosaur. Birthday Saurus, and this kind of has the red is in a foil. You can kind of see the reflection, and on the back, it's just more of the matte. So, Birthday Saurus with stars and streamers on the side, and then this one I think I've told you guys before Bailey is she just has a thing for sharks, and so we saw this. And we just had to buy it. She has a birthday coming in February. Um, it's super glittery. Like everything but the black is and the hat is glitter. So every anything in blue and white, it's glitter, which is the majority of the bag. But it's really pretty. There's the other side. And then there is the side panel. And again, that's a red and blue, not pink and purple. See what else? Found a bunch of neat birthday tissue paper. I guess not a bunch. I got two. Um, this one is the pink and purple palette, and it's got the rainbow and the balloons. Party, celebrate. Thought that was cute. And then it's got polka dots, pink and purple. There's eight sheets in here, so I mean, not a great deal, but I got it because of the cute. Um, patterned ones. And then this one is the blue and red, more primary colors. It's all, um, let's go this way so you can see it. Happy birthday. Well, I'm turning it like this says something on the back. Happy birthday in different banner styles. And then the presents and hats and balloons, red and light blue. Again, eight sheets in there. These mints, hmm, getting strong. Sorry if this is gross, but I don't know if you can see. There's little blue specks in there. Those are the cooling crystals. Yeah, they're doing their job. Waking up. What's up? Taking that deep breath in, like I can feel the cooling through my whole sinus. Strong mint is correct. Strong mint. Whew. I found the knobs, you guys. Um, do I have anything to put knobs on? Not 
necessarily. I do, however, have this wooden Ikea storage thing with drawers on it that I have in my craft area. And Tracy was like, you could get these and put them on there, um, which isn't a bad idea. So we just picked up a couple sets. I'm just taking the pack. The packaging was coming apart, so I'm just taking it apart so you can see. Like it's all a piece of cardboard, but they are pretty long screws, and it comes with the bolts. But these, this is what it, the front of it looks like. So decorative knobs. These were the clouds, and then this is what it looks like on the shelf. These are the stars. They also had what I believe was the sun. It was a big orange burst. I want to say there was one other one. And I don't remember what it was. Hmm. I don't remember what that one was. Maybe a moon. Maybe a moon. That sounds right. Stars moon, sun, and clouds. That sounds right. Don't quote me on that because I don't have proof, but that's what I'm going to go with. All right. The last bag. This is my most recent bag um, because I had to go grab some stuff yesterday. I needed some um, quart size bags, so I grabbed the 20 count. They do have the Glad um, bags but there's only 10 and I don't need them for anything heavy duty so um, I'm totally fine with these I don't have any problem with these ones um, so yeah quart size 20 bags and it's a double zipper so fancy schmancy Tracy said this is the same brand I thought it was different but she said it's the same brand different packaging I have yet to confirm or um, I haven't confirmed it yet. I'm trying to come up with words, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. I need to call it a day. Once I'm done here, I gotta pack this stuff up. Tux is over in the corner looking at me like I'm crazy right now. She's just glaring at me like, what is wrong with you? Um, when I'm done here, I need to put all this stuff away. And then I'm going to go make chicken tacos for dinner. Crop all that stuff. So we shall see how that goes. Too bad I don't have any margarita to go with my tacos, huh? All right. Um, so these are the color catchers. or Color catcher is a brand, but the color absorber, extra in-wash color absorbers. And this is a bonus pack, which I just noticed. There's 12 instead of 10. I really think this is a different brand, but it looks the same. I'm just opening it so you guys can see if you've never used these before. This is what it looks like on the inside. And anytime I have laundry that has something fairly new, um, I always throw something in one of these in there. Or if I'm throwing whites in because I have very little whites because I don't trust myself in white clothes, <laughs> um, I always get stains on them. So if I have some whites or something that I just throw in with colors, I'll throw one of these in too. They smell good. Um, and it says protects against color runs, mixed colors, and whites. And it also says for all machines, including HE. So right there. So yeah. I like those. I recommend them. Um, also grabbed another Unstoppables. I like to have at least one. We used to buy the big bottle of them all the time. Um, and I kind of stopped doing that. But I like to have this, just like one of these, every once in a while. Like if, you know, the towels or... Do you ever forget about laundry? You run a load and then you realize... Oh no, how long has that been in there? Have you ever done that? Tell me in the comments that I'm not the only person that's done that. Um, in those instances, when you rerun it with hot water and extra soap, one of these is good to throw in there too. Please tell me I'm not the only one that does that. 
I know I'm not. I, I can't be. Um, I found the Scrub It stuff that people have been finding. So Scrub It Clean Brilliantly Disposable Quick Eraser Sheets. So these are like the, um, the Magic Erasers. And Magic Eraser did come out with a pack where it's like a peel-off sheet, which is pretty cool because I hate using a giant brick for just one little thing and then you waste the rest of it. But these, let's see if I can position it so you can see. There, you can kind of see how thick it is. Yeah, so it's got five sheets. And then I got the scrubber, odor resistant non-scratch. And this is like um, the scrub daddy. So, sorry. Um, we had some, I kept saying things have changed. Somebody, we had somebody move in with us. Um, so, and they just got home and it's distracting me. Anyways, scrub daddies. I really like scrub daddies. Um, and they're hard. These are pretty much a scrub daddy knockoff. Um, they're hard. When you get them wet in warm water, they get soft. And then cold water, they firm back up. So you can really scour with it. Um, but I really like the scrub daddies. So I'm interested to try these and see how they compare. If you've used these before, let me know. And um, tell me if you think it's comparable to scrub daddy. Um, so just so you can see warm and cold it says soft and warm water firm and cold water and they had it in like three different colors so <clears throat> then what else what else what else this is a repeat um it's the peanut butter crackers got two six packs of that for tracy um where on earth are all of my oh, where's my stuff I'm missing stuff hold on okay I'm back I knew I had more stuff somewhere and found it plus we had interruption anyways I was starting to tell you um somebody moved in with us so um, that's part of why everything's, we're just, we've got, had to empty out our extra room. My craft room is now their room, which is totally fine. I love her to death. I told her her entire life that we will be here for her and do whatever we can to help her out. So, um, totally fine. That room is now her room. So we're re creating our home. <laughs> Anyways, all right, back to it. Um, this thing, so weird, I had to buy it and show you. So it's by Professionals Melon Tap. When you see this hanging on the strip down the aisle at the DT, you can't help but grab it and look at it and be like, what on earth? And then buy it. Do I need a melon tap? No. Will I use a melon tap? Probably not. But did I buy it? Of course I did. Of course I did. So this is the tap that goes into the melon. Like, here's the melon. Here's the tap sticking out. You can see the picture right there. And then these are the feet to put in the bottom. And then there's the instructions on the back. Very interesting. The cashier was very intrigued by this and he was reading through it and then he flipped it over. He's like, oh, okay. So you've got to hollow it out and put your, I'm like, yeah, it's a process, but more of a novelty thing. Um, he goes, that might be good in a pineapple too. I said, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Although a watermelon, you're going to be able to hold a lot more beverage than you can in a pineapple. But, so I don't know. They had a lot of them. They had multiple strips hanging down the aisles. So, 
I don't know, if that's your thing and you like to party hardy with the, the watermelon um, in the summer, <laughs> grab yourself a melon tap. <laughs> Who says that? Who says that? I got this. They had some burlap bags. They had multiple colors and sayings. I just got the one. And this one says kindness matters because kindness matters. The strap is like a khaki color and then the bag is black and white. It's not a big bag by any means. That's, I mean, it's not super big. It's got a little bit of a gusset on the bottom so you can fill it a little bit. But it's just a cute little bag. All right, what else? I found the um, markers that people have been finding, the ones with color and outline. So I got one in each color that they had. I can't fan them out apparently. I got the silver. Um, it says silver ink with colorful outline. They all say that. So silver, gold, pink, and blue and I want to try them so Sherry from Keto Twisted Gypsy tried these and she shook up one of them and it kind of like leaked so I'm not going to um, shake it but you do kind of have to prep prime it you know I'm not really seeing an outline per se. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing an outline. I'm just I'm seeing both colors, but not necessarily an outline. I don't know. I thought why not give it a try. I'm not going to try all four of them. I'm just going to try the one for now. Because um, we get the idea, right? And look at me. I thought I was going to have a short video since it's just me and not Tracy. And, uh... Yeah, right, Melinda. You never have short videos. Ever. Alright. I have one other Valentine thing. Look at this cute little dog. Just a cute little dog. Um, little wiener type dog. It says hug me on the side. And in the ears there is some little silver hearts. So he was just pretty darn cute. Grabbed him. A couple Easter things. Look at these. These parrots are neat. That's yellow and orange because my lighting sucks. Yellow and orange. And they're, does it say how long they are? 12 inches long. I was gonna say, it's about 12 inches. But those are gonna be really cute in like a floral arrangement. Um, yeah, I liked those a lot. Similar to the mini carrots that they had last year that they have again this year, but in a big version. So I like those. Also found the um, monogram wood decor so I got that's the basket with the Easter eggs and then a monogram so I got a C for Ethan and Shaylin and then I got an M for the Maitlands for us oh that's backwards an M and then I also got a W for Mr. Wesley so I thought those were fun all right, um, let's see. Oh, and I grabbed this. It's the paper masks. Um, three layer protective face masks. Universal Fit by Wailana. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, it's a resealable bag. It's just like the medical masks. But I thought these are much nicer than the disposable masks that they had originally. So I'd grab them. 
and it feels like it does have the metal thing the yeah flexible thing in the top it's so just two paper masks those will be good keep them in the car um just like everybody we already we all have a collection of masks by now <coughs> tux hears this bag crinkling and thinks that i have something for her but little does she know it's not for her, and I can't get this zipped back shut. All right, there. All right, last thing I have to show you. Masks. I really need to be doing more masks because I have so many, and now I have so many more. But you guys, oh, apparently I got two of those. All right. I went to a Dollar Tree that I don't usually go to. We happen to be... I missed an exit somewhere and when I went to turn around in a shopping center lo and behold there was a Dollar Tree so did we go absolutely <laughs> and uh, they had an entire end cap whole end cap top to bottom full of face masks full, all different kinds and majority of them were spa life with a few exceptions and the exceptions are not Greenbrier. So I'll start with the ones that were there. First, we have Spa Life Pore Cleaning Charcoal Bubble Mask, Carbonated Foam Sheet Mask, three treatments in here. I mean, I've looked up Spa Life masks before and they're not cheap. If you buy them from their website, they are not cheap at all. So bubble mask, Spa Life, Forever Luminous Facial Mask, Goat's Milk and Mediterranean Olive Oil, Anti-Aging and Firming, Three Masks, it's the Sheet Mask, Spa Life Forever Luminous, Bee Venom and Shea Butter and Manuka Honey, Anti-Aging and Helps Firm and Hydrate, Bee Venom? What? Nature's Botox, the unique combination of nutrients, amino acids, and plant hormones make our special formulated bee venom. Like, do they have, is that, are they just calling their special formula bee venom? That might be a stupid question, guys. I don't know, but three, ma three masks again. There's that. This Spa Life has six treatments. Six. This is Facial Mask Energizing and Awakening. It's Coffee Break. Natural Extract, Paraben, and Sulfate Free. Americano. So, coffee infused masks. Six sheet masks in there. <clears throat> Spa Life Hydrating Facial Mask, Antioxidant and Anti-Aging, Blueberry and Acai Berry with Vitamins and Minerals. Myrtle and Acai in, oh, that's just repeating in a different language. That's, there's three in there. I mean, I couldn't believe how many different ones they had. I just had to get one of everything. This is a, an exhilarating neck mask neck mask um pearl and coq10 um anti-aging and helps firm and hydrate neck mask there's three and see it's like that and it's going to go around your neck you're going to give yourself a little temporary turtleneck i just i couldn't believe it this is another six count glamour facial mask Platinum, retinol, and hyaluronic acid infused with vitamins. Six pack. Let me just open one of these so you can see inside. It's just six of these. So every box, it's just these packets. Um, I just couldn't believe it. Guys, if you, you can totally... 
get these and put together some awesome gift baskets. Valentine's Day, Easter baskets, birthdays. Um, just, and you can take out, take one out of this one, one out of that one, piece them together. You don't have to give this whole thing to one person. This could be for six different people. Here's another spa life. This is a three pack. It's a sugar and rose hip hydrating facial mask enriched with moisturizing rose hip extract and sugar particles to retain hydration. So that's what this one looks like. This one does not have a picture on the back, but it's again, just the individual pack pouches. This was obviously a Christmas packaging, right? The little ornaments. It's even got a hole so that you could hang it, I think. I don't know. It's creative. It's creative packaging. All right. Now, these are the non Spa Life. I found the Aveeno peel off masks. One is clear complexion, exfoliates and um, mattifies. And then exfoliates and evens texture, the positively radiant max glow. So purely matte and then max glow. So they are two different ones, two different colors. There you can kind of see the color shade difference. And then all of these, they're, I'm going to, I don't know if this is Japanese, Chinese, Korean, I don't know. And I, oh, this one says Korea, made in Korea, um, right on the front. So this one <clears throat> is um, ginseng and eucalyptus under eye mask. There's two, so you get one eye treatment, like one, one time. Um, and there's information in a ton of languages on there. So, but this one is Jinju Beauty. Korean Super Beauty. So there's that. <clears throat> this one is OK, made in Korea. Hydrate and moisturize lip mask. Um, I'm guessing there's just one treatment in here also. So there's a lip mask. I've never done a lip mask before. We'll find out. I know that they've had them before. Um, apparently I got two of these. Okay. And this is probably the same company. Because see the okay and the okay. So <clears throat> these are all Korean, I'm, I think. Um, this is a three-step mask. So you have... Which one did you first... Okay, so you looks like the foaming face wash you do first. There's a little, this section right here, it's perforated. <clears throat> so this one's the foaming face wash. And then <clears throat> precision buffing pad, exfoliating precision buffing pad. And then it's a T-zone mask. See? So you don't see a T-zone mask very often. So I thought that was interesting and I got two of that one <clears throat> and then I, I don't know why I got two of that one and then I got one of each of these. Um, these are gemstone masks. This is reviving gemstone mini masks with citrine extract. Again, it's the same OK company made in Korea. Eight targeted mini masks. So it looks like this and then if you look at her little picture she's got one under each like on each cheekbone forehead and across her no right here in between her eyes so looks like there's one two three four maybe there's maybe you can do it two times I don't know but that one's the reviving 
And this one is Nourishing Ruby with Ruby Extract. This one is shifted a little bit. See, it's not in the place anymore. It's shifted a little, so I guess this would probably be the one I need to use first. But those were really neat. I've never seen those before, and to find so many different ones was incredible to me. I just now have to find a place to put all of the face masks. <laughs> Guys, I have we're, we're purging. We are going to purge like no other. Fingers crossed. So that's all I have for you. I need to clean my bed off because all the Dollar Tree is all over. And then I got to go make my tacos. So anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I've missed you guys. I hope you had a great holiday and that you are starting out 2021 better than it ended. So um, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, we would love to have you click the subscribe button. When you do that, you can click the bell. That'll send you notifications every time we upload a new video. And if you enjoyed this video, we would love for you to give us a thumbs up. That'll help us out a lot. So again, thank you so much. We love you guys. We appreciate you. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.